Blackjack remains the heaviest, most powerful combat aircraft in history. The Kuznetsov NK-321 turbofans are the most powerful military engines ever flown. With four mounted in paired nacelles within the inner wing, the Tu-160 has almost 80% more installed engine power than the B-1 and is nearly twice as fast at high altitude. Although it's 20% larger than its American counterpart, the Tu-160 has a smaller radar cross-section and less aerodynamic drag. Its unrefueled combat radius was over 4,500 miles, more than the B-1 and almost twice as much as the backfire. But all of this came at great cost. Red Air Force Colonel Yevgeny Vlasov eventually told Western journalists that the Tu-160 was an expensive countermeasure. Although the exact figures are vague, it was clearly the most expensive Soviet aircraft program of the Cold War. In 1988, the Soviet Union was planning to build 30 aircraft a year into the 1990s. In the spirit of perestroika, the Soviets invited Western military officials to inspect their powerful new bomber. The group, which included the U.S. Secretary of Defense, quickly realized they were looking at a formidable weapon. But by now, such an aircraft was considered more of a technical achievement than a potential threat. The Cold War was drawing to a close and so was the race to produce faster, more potent nuclear bombers. The Tu-160 Blackjack was the ultimate Soviet bomber, and it would also be the last. Having struggled for so many years to build a successful intercontinental bomber, the project fell victim to thawing relations between East and West. 